we will start the series with very basic question and then go in detail first very basic question is what is purpose of analytical method validation the purpose of analytical method validation is to demonstrate that a specific analytical procedure is suitable for its intended use and provides reliable and accurate results it ensures the method's performance meets predetermined acceptance criteria guideline reference ICH Q2 what are the key parameters evaluated during analytical method validation the key parameters include accuracy precision specificity linearity range robustness and detection limit guideline reference usp chapter 1225 how is accuracy assessed during method validation accuracy is assessed by comparing the measured values against a known reference standard or by performing recovery studies Accuracy should be within an acceptable percentage of the true value. Guideline reference USP chapter 1225. What is method precision and how is it evaluated during method validation? Method precision refers to the closeness of agreement between multiple measurements of the same sample under similar conditions. It is evaluated through repeatability and intermediate precision studies. Guideline reference ICH Q2. How is specificity demonstrated during analytical method validation? Specificity is demonstrated by assessing the method's ability to distinguish the analyte of interest from other components present in the sample matrix. It is commonly evaluated through interference studies. Guideline reference ICH Q2. What is linearity and how is it assessed during method validation? Linearity refers to the ability of the method to produce results that are directly proportional to the analyte concentration. It is assessed by analyzing a series of standard solutions across a specified range and evaluating the regression line. Guideline reference USP chapter 1225. This one is very frequently asked question, how do you determine the range of analytical method? Answer is, the range of an analytical method is determined by analyzing a series of samples with varying concentrations to ensure that the method is reliable and accurate over the intended concentration range. Guideline reference ICH Q2. Next question, what is significance of evaluating method robustness during validation? Method robustness assessment determines the method's capacity to remain unaffected by small deliberate variations in method parameters. It helps to ensure or establish the method's reliability under normal laboratory conditions. Guideline reference ICH Q2. What is the detection limit and how is it determined? Answer is the detection limit is the lowest concentration of an analyte that can be reliably detected but not necessarily quantified. It is typically determined based on the signal to noise ratio or by using statistical approaches. Guideline reference ICH Q2. This is one more important question. How do you validate analytical methods for stability indicating assays? Answer is Stability indicating methods are validated to detect and quantify the active pharmaceutical ingredient that is API and degradation products over the course of drug product shelf life. Stress testing and forced degradation studies are essential components of this validation. Guideline reference ICH Q1A Explain the concept of intermediate precision and its importance in method validation. Answer is intermediate precision evaluates the methods reproducibility across different days, analysts, instruments, etc. It demonstrates the robustness of method beyond the inherent variability. It is crucial or important to establish the method's reliability under routine laboratory conditions. Guideline reference ICH Q2. This one is very important and frequently asked question what is difference between limit of detection that is LOD and limit of quantification that is LOQ. Answer is LOD is the lowest amount of an analyte that can be reliably detected but not necessarily quantified. LOQ is the lowest amount that can be quantified with acceptable accuracy and precision. 
येलो क्यू इज युजली लोअर दॅन येलो डी रेफरन्स गाईडलाईन आय सी एच क्यू टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाऊ डू यू हँडल व्हॅलिडेशन ऑफ क्रोमॅटोग्राफिक मेथड सच ॲज एच पी एल सी ऑर जी सी फॉर क्रोमॅटोग्राफिक मेथड्स व्हॅलिडेशन इन्वॉल्व असेसिंग पॅरामीटर्स लाईक पीक रिझोल्युशन टेलिंग फॅक्टर सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी अँड कॉलम एफिशियन्सी ॲडिशनली क्रोमॅटोग्राफिक प्युरिटी सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी अँड प्रिसिजन ॲट व्हेरियस लेवल्स आर ऑल्सो इव्हॅलिटेड रेफरन्स गाईडलाईन यू एस पी चॅप्टर सिक्स टू वन वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग इन अनालिटिकल मेथड व्हॅलिडेशन सिस्टम सुटेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग एन्शुअर्स दॅट द अनालिटिकल सिस्टम इन्क्लुडिंग इक्विपमेंट क्रोमॅटोग्राफिक कंडिशन्स अँड सॅम्पल प्रिपरेशन इज सुटेबल फॉर द इंटेंडेड अनालिसिस इट व्हेरीफाईज द सिस्टम्स परफॉर्मन्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द ॲक्च्युअल अनालिसिस रेफरन्स गाईडलाईन यू एस पी चॅप्टर नंबर सिक्स टू वन हाऊ डू यू एस्टॅब्लिश द ॲप्रोप्रिएट सॅम्पल प्रिपरेशन टेक्निक्स ड्युरिंग मेथड व्हॅलिडेशन सॅम्पल प्रिपरेशन टेक्निक्स आर एस्टॅब्लिश्ड बाय इव्हॅल्युएटिंग फॅक्टर्स सच ॲज एक्स्ट्रॅक्शन एफिशियन्सी ॲक्युरेसी अँड प्रिसिजन द मेथड शूड एन्शुअर द स्टॅबिलिटी ऑफ अनालाइज ड्युरिंग द प्रिपरेशन प्रोसेस रेफरन्स गाईडलाईन आय सी एच क्यू टू वॉट आर द ॲक्सेप्टन्स क्रायटेरिया फॉर प्रिसिजन ड्युरिंग मेथड व्हॅलिडेशन ॲन्सर इज द ॲक्सेप्टन्स क्रायटेरिया फॉर प्रिसिजन आर टिपिकली एक्सप्रेस्ड इन पर्सेंट आर एस डी दॅट इज पर्सेंट रिलेटिव्ह स्टँडर्ड डेव्हिएशन फॉर रिपीटॅबिलिटी अँड इंटरमिजिएट प्रिसिजन रिझल्ट द व्हॅल्यूज शूड फॉल विद इन द प्रीडिफाइंड लिमिट्स बेस्ड ऑन द मेथड्स इंटेंडेड यूज रेफरन्स गाईडलाईन आय सी एच क्यू टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाऊ डू यू ॲड्रेस द इश्यू ऑफ मॅट्रिक्स इफेक्ट्स ड्युरिंग मेथड व्हॅलिडेशन फॉर कॉम्प्लेक्स सॅम्पल मॅट्रिसेस ॲन्सर इज मॅट्रिक्स इफेक्ट्स आर ॲड्रेस बाय स्पायकिंग नोन अमाऊंट ऑफ अनालाइट्स इन टू द सॅम्पल मॅट्रिक्स अँड कम्पेअरिंग द रिस्पॉन्स टू दोज ऑफ प्युअर स्टँडर्ड्स रिकवरी स्टडीज कॅन हेल्प असेस अँड करेक्ट द मॅट्रिक्स इफेक्ट्स गाईडलाईन रेफरन्स आय सी एच क्यू टू This is very important question what are forced degradation studies and why are they performed during method validation answer is forced degradation studies involve subjecting the analyte to various stress conditions example heat humidity light acid base to identify potential degradation pathways and impurities these studies help to demonstrate the method's ability to detect and quantify degradants guideline reference ICH Q1A Next question how do you validate bioanalytical methods such as assays for pharmacokinetic studies answer is bioanalytical method validation involves evaluating parameters like selectivity sensitivity accuracy precision recovery and stability in biological matrices it also includes assessments of incurred sample reanalysis and dilution integrity guideline reference fda's guidance for industry bioanalytical method validation This is very basic question when should method validation be performed in the life cycle of an analytical method answer is method validation should be conducted during the method development phase and prior to routine use in regulated environment additionally any significant changes to the method should trigger revalidation guideline reference ICH Q2 last and important question what documentation is typically required for analytical method validation answer is the documentation includes a detailed validation protocol raw data summary reports and a validation report containing all results conclusions and any deviations from the predetermined acceptance criteria guideline reference ICH Q2 comment if you like the information subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry